Greetings gang. Today we're going to be doing RJ McReady's Frostbitten Makeup from John Carpenter's The Thing. So grab yourselves a dram of J&B whiskey and let's get cozy. Cheers. Alright, so this is one video in a series of videos uh, documenting my RJ McReady cosplay for this Halloween. I've done a few other videos which I will link uh, in the description below as well as probably some cards at the end of the video if you want to check those out. But uh, this one is on the makeup. I am aiming to mimic the scene from the film. Uh, and in case you don't know what the film is, we're talking 1982's John Carpenter's The Thing, starring Kurt Russell. Um, and uh, I'm going to mimic the makeup from the scene where uh, after he, after uh, R.J. McReady gets locked outside and is let back in, um, and he gets all frostbitten, and he's got like uh, kind of pinkish red circles under his eyes where all the blood has kind of like gone to his eye area, his lips are blue, and he's got this real pale demeanor. And he's got frost in his beard, and his eyebrows are caked with frost. I'm going to be kind of mimicking that look, and that kind of continues through the end of the film where he's got the dynamite strapped to him. Um, that's the look that I'm aiming for. I've got the dynamite pouches and the Molotov cocktails when they start blowing shit up and destroying the Antarctic uh, outpost uh, to try and uh, kill the alien thing. So that's, um, that's the look I'm going for. Um, I get rid of these uh, sun sh uh, these snow shades because I don't need those around my neck while we do this. All right, one more sip and then we'll get going. All right, I'm going to tie back the mane here so it don't get in the way. All right, there we go. Okay, let's start with our um, Mayron makeup palette. This is like a different shades of uh, makeup ranging from like really dark brown all the way up to like this really pale eggshell color I love this palette I use this for Indiana Jones as well when I'm doing Indiana Jones for a little added effect I'll do usually the second to the darkest or the darkest to get that Cairo tan that Indiana Jones has um, I've used this for Doc Brown I've used like the second to the lightest one to kind of lighten up my skin because Doc Brown when he's old he has like that really pale skin um, but we're going to use, I think, the palest one. And so let me grab one makeup sponge from this giant effing bag of makeup sponges here. Let's grab a handful. So I'm just going to get a little bit of that on the sponge. And we'll start covering up all the areas of my face with that white makeup right to give that really pale I've been locked outside in the Antarctic during the first goddamn week of winter first goddamn week of winter while an alien is attacking the camp <laughs> see that's a lot lighter than my normal skin tone and it gives that real pale appearance right get those eyebrows eyelids 
cover up my head scar that I got when I was three years old when I decided to put my dad's coat over my head and run into the corner of a brick plant or what do you want I'm an Aries we have head wounds right into the edges of the beard there so you don't see my regular skin color under the beard and around there and we're gonna do the lips too because uh, we need the lips to look like they are also frozen. Now, see? All right. I guess we may as well go full bore and do the ears and the uh, neck. Although, uh, when I'm wearing this on Halloween and someday if I ever get to go to another horror or sci-fi convention, I'll probably have my hood on, right? Because McGreedy wears his hood at the end of the movie. So you probably aren't going to see my neck, but just for the sake of the video and the full effect, we'll do the neck as well. Alright, that's good enough. Okay, so we're pale now, right? Now, the next step is to give that pink look around the eyes, which I already kind of have because you can see my regular eyes there. But I just have some cheap ass like dollar store grease paint sticks that I've probably had since like 1998. They don't go bad, do they? I'm going to do this right under my eyes like, like eyeliner. And that's going to give that really like dark color right under there. Okay, that might be a little bit too much. I probably put a little bit too much, but that's okay because we can blend shit in later. I'm not a professional, guys. All right, so we got that. Now we're gonna move on to this uh, this palette here. This is a different colored palette. It has like some different shades, right? Um, for this makeup, I think this is the color you want. This one is probably going to be a little too bright. One of these two. Let's, we'll try both of them and see which one works better. But right now we're going to mimic that pink look under the eyes. I'm going to try the, this middle one right here first. You can get this stuff anywhere on Amazon, costume shops. It's a Mehron brand. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Actually, let's use the edge. Okay, and we're just going to... Yeah, that's not quite right. That's too orange. Let's try this one. Or try this one here. I think that's the one I used last time. Yeah, I don't know. That might be too too orange. Let's go back to that middle one. Let me get a different sponge. We'll go back to that middle color, pink. Sometimes it's trial and error, guys. You just try different things and see what works. Hmm. I think I'm liking that. Let's stick with that middle one. We'll blend this with some more of that pale after. All right. Blend that in a little. Kind of raccoon eyes here. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's the stuff. I'm adding a little bit of that over the top of it. I don't know. You can fuck with it. It ain't rocket science. That looks pretty good. Okay, so I'm going to do my eyelids too. All the blood is rushing around your eyes, you know. Frostbite. I've never had frostbite. I don't know what I don't know what it is. Let's go back to the flesh tone palette and we'll go back to that really pale one and we're just going to sort of like blend so that it doesn't look too crazy. Alright. That looks pretty good to me. Then I'm going to go to that. We'll do the purple, right? We'll get a little bit of purple right on the end of that sponge there. And I'm just going to blow up my lips. A little to make them look 
cold and frostbitten. All right? Kind of blend that in a little bit. Let's see, I got that blue lip look going on. I'm gonna add a little bit of that violet around here too, just to kind of give it like a blue kind of look. All right, so now I look really cold. I like that. All right, so kind of frostbitten. All right, it's looking a little extreme for me. So I'm gonna take some of this Mayron setting powder, and I'm just gonna sprinkle some in my hands, and I'm gonna do my whole pat my whole face with it. And that'll kind of soften some of that, like, um, the harshness of that pink area around my eyes. Because you want it to look kind of red, but you don't want it to look so crazy over the top red, right? The setting powder, I feel like it, like, besides keeping the makeup locked in, it, it also kind of, like... Um, makes the effect not so extreme. I'm going to add a little tiny bit more of this. There. And I like that. That looks good. I don't know if the setting spray does anything, but I'm going to try it because I bought it. Supposedly this locks in the makeup. I really don't know. But we'll try it, right? It also burns the fuck out of your eyes. Alright. Now... My beard is red, not brown. McCready's beard is brown. And also, my beard has a lot of white in it, which I guess could be frost, but it doesn't really look like frost. It looks like gray hair. I'm going to take a makeup sponge and some of the dark brown palette here. I'm going to use it to color my beard and give it more of like a brown, uniform, not 47-year-old guy look because I got a lot of gray in my beard, right? I don't got a lot of gray on my head, but I got a lot of gray in my beard. I don't fucking understand what that's about, but... That's life! Doesn't take much, guys. Doesn't take much. Just a little bit here and there. Cover up all that white. If you don't have white in your beard, then you don't need to do this part. That's what happens when you're raising teenage girls. You get gray hair in your beard. I got a little bit of brown on my skin there, so I'm gonna go back over that with uh, pale makeup so it doesn't look like I colored my beard. Very nice. I like. I think I'm gonna try something. I haven't done this before so we're gonna get a q-tip and I have some liquid latex and I have this uh, glitter shit that I got from Michael's craft um, there's two hands there and we're gonna like put a little bit of liquid latex on this and on my eyebrows and then I'm gonna try to like Put some of this glitter on my eyebrows and see if we can get sort of like a sparkle effect. And I'm just going really light here with the liquid latex because I'm sure this crap is going to stick all up in my eyebrows later. But we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Shit, see I put too much there. And then we're going to... First we're going to put the cap back on that because I don't want to spill that everywhere. And I'm just going to get a little brush like that. And I'm just going to like dab it because I'm trying to get that look like he's been out in the cold and he's got frost on his eyebrows, right? That shit's a little shinier than I wanted it to be. I don't know. It works, right? Fuck, I don't know. We'll put a little bit on our skin too, right? Maybe too much glitter. That might be a bit, a bit much, but I don't know. After you do that, and I'm not sure how I feel about that, and I'm not sure I would do that again. That looks a little too sparkly. But maybe I'll try sugar or something. But anyway, so my eyebrows are frozen. Now, sorry guys, of course I'm making a video so my phone goes off. 
I'm going to get a little bit of this just white cream makeup, and I'm going to put it on the edge of this brush, and I'm just going to like lightly dab my beard, almost like upwards, right? And it kind of looks like there's frost. If I put too much, this is going to look like my grade is back, but I'm just trying to make it look like my beard is covered with like a layer of frost. I think they make like ice gel and stuff where you can do this as well, but I don't have any. So I'm just trying it with the makeup. I think that looks pretty good, right? Just looks like there's a little frost in my mustache and a little frost in my beard. Yeah, that's essentially it. Um, I don't know, what happens if I, and I put a little bit of that in my beard and my mustache? <laughs> That's interesting. I don't know, that could work, right? Kind of like snow sparkles, right? I don't know. Sure, what the fuck, why not? Maybe it'll grow on me. Anyway. And we'll... Oh, see? Look at that. It's R.J. McReady. He's going to warm things up around here. Maybe we'll just warm things up a little around here. There you go. Just need the G1 bomber and the dynamite rig and the uh, gun rig, and we have ourselves R.J. McReady frostbitten face makeup. I don't know. It works. It's like the third time I've done this. I think it's a good look. I think it looks pretty close to, to what it looked like in the movie. Where's my hat? Hey. There we go. Nice, huh? All right, you guys. Cheers. All right. Uh, check out the other videos in the series. I got the lantern build video, the hat review video on McReady's hat that I got from Screen Cap. Check that out. This is not the McReady's hat that I had made. This is another hat that I got. It was like an open crown cowboy hat that I reshaped um, as kind of a backup hat. Check out the dynamite rig bandolier. I'm sure there's some others by the time I edit this that you can check out. And I hope that was helpful. If you ever want to do R.J. McReady or just like a frozen frostbitten kind of dude cosplay. Um, yeah. All right. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.